Turning negatives into positives. Gotta move. See, I tried to get this Airbnb for three nights, but it was unavailable. So, I gotta move. The negative into a positive. The negative, eh, I have to move all my stuff to a new spot. The positive is that the 10 a.m. checkout time for this place encouraged me instead of wake up 5 a.m., 5.30, get the 15 miles in this morning, come back, pack up this place, and then get out of here by 10 a.m., it encouraged me to sleep in just a little bit, recover a little bit more, and then check out, and then go for the run. So, negative into a positive. Okay, let's pack up. Before we pack up completely, Gotta do the little stuff. Stay on it, everybody. It helps. We're up at altitude, less pressure. Thank you for your answers yesterday about altitude training and all that good stuff. So this is extra inflated. It's, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. We are definitely higher than Denver. It's uh, not compressed, I guess, is the better way to, to put it. <laughs> And by the way, thank you for all the discussion on yesterday's vlog about altitude, altitude tents. Everyone is keeping it civil and sharing their opinion. And that is what this, where's my keys? There they are. That is what this YouTube channel is all about. Just uh, supporting each other, bouncing ideas off each other. There were you know, definitely a lot of disagreements. And I love that, the fact that we can uh, come together, whoa, as runners, <laughs> I gotcha come together as runners and talk about all sorts of topics here on this channel. I mean, it's literally, it's just endless. So, all right, let's go find some, find some miles, find some vertical. It's so windy, it's blowing me over. I was just uh, running down Main Street, run is almost done, and this guy right here, I used to uh, race against him in high school, actually my brother raced against him as well, I think. Anyway, he's a, he's a coach now, that's awesome. He's a uh, running and ultra running and endurance coach up in Leadville, small world.
keep working. Well, that was interesting. We made it, we survived, didn't crash, unbelievable. Okay, uh, I, I don't have a place, I can't check in for two more hours, so no better place to go, but city on a hill, little coffee town. Test one, two, three. Test, test, test. Test one, two, three. This is how I do it, everybody. Getting the audio set up. I think you can see me. And let me just do, actually, there's a mirror behind this camera, which is nice so I can see the audio. How's everyone doing? Oh, man. Looking at that list of 14ers. I think I got to go buy it. Maybe tomorrow morning at City on a Hill, I'll buy that list of 14ers. I'm just, uh, I see that list. I am itching to get up in those 14ers, oh my my. All right, today, two runs, 15 miles this morning, 8.15 a mile. Second run, three miles with some uphill pickups, okay? And yes, in that second run, three miles, during the uphill pickups just outside of Leadville, I managed to capture this. There you go, seeking beauty on YouTube. Not too shabby, oh man. So what I did is I pulled my car over, set up the tripod, put this camera on the tripod, hit record, and then I just went back and forth about, I think it was about seven or 800 meters. My, it was almost 1K, not quite, maybe 800 meters, back and forth, doing some uphill pickups for 25 minutes. And during that 25 minutes, I captured that time lapse that you just watched, all about that efficiency, right? Multitasking, that's how I roll here on YouTube and in Leadville when I'm up here like just trying to train at a high level, you know, as high level as possible and make a vlog every single day. So you gotta think outside the box sometimes, including, oh man, so here is the deal, everybody. Question of the day, um, what is a tool of your running trade or your career, whatever whatever direction you wanna go, okay? For me, my work really is YouTube and making videos and hopefully providing a little bit of inspiration, motivation to turn that doorknob, to get out there and not even to, I always say chase down dreams, which is great to say, but just to stay healthy, to put one foot in front of the other, to sweat a little bit, to breathe every day, to disconnect from stresses of work, or whatever the case, I see that as my role here on YouTube, okay? So, I'm always trying to think outside the box, and as I'm always saying, innovate here on YouTube. So my new tool of the trade is this new drone, the Skydio 2, and yes, it follows you. It follows you really, really, really well. So there it is. Uh, I love the blue. And you're gonna, oh yeah, well, here's some more footage from that uh, uphill section I was doing just uh, for you know 25 minutes outside of Leadville this evening. And unbelievable footage, great job. I am very excited, but I'm very excited to read your comments. 
What is a tool of your trade, whether in running or in your career, that has really enhanced your ability to carry out the tasks that you need to carry out? It could be a watch. It could be shoes. It could be a, a vest, a running vest. It could be maybe you're an architect and it's a great new system for designing buildings or I have no, maybe you're a musician and it's a new, um, I don't know, a new, a new read, <laughs> a new read for a saxophone. I believe, is that right? You put on the, you know, anyway, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in back on YouTube. We'll toss it to, uh, we'll toss it to some 14 or footage from last summer. Cause I'm getting that itch. Everybody I'm getting that itch. All right, everyone seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.